Hello, Harry Potter fans. I am Nana, and we are back to paint a portion of the Great Hall at Hogwarts. It's at Christmas time, or you can even pretend it's Halloween, but they always have a great big feast, and they have these wonderful floating candles in the air. Now, this is just going to be of the hall. We're not going to show any students, any of the staff or anything. This will pretend like is right before the feast when they get the table set and everything is ready, okay? All right, as you can see, I have some black construction paper. I have turned it vertically because this is going to be a vertical picture we're standing at one end of the hall looking out the other end, okay? And because it's always kind of dark at Hogwarts, you know, we just thought this would be better and easier. Now, these are the colors I have picked out. There are browns and tans for the tables and a black to outline and even a blue for part of the, the sky. Uh, that is the ceiling of the Great Hall. And then there's some greens for the Christmas trees and a red for decorations and a white. Okay, we're going to begin. As I said, we are looking from one end to the other. So let's take our, not the brown, I think we're going to take the black. And we're going to go about three quarters of the way down. Now you should be able to see this on your black paper. Okay, this is where the staff, where Dumbledore sits and all the teachers, right across here. And back behind it, there is a large arched window. There we go. Now, we're going to go ahead and put in the tables. Now, the tables won't be looking right at you. They're kind of to the side here. And then there's one in the middle it really does almost go straight at the viewer, but it's a little bit to the side. And then we have the Slytherin table, which goes off to the left. There we go. Now, We're going to put in a little bit of the wall here. Not much. This is just an imaginary part of the Great Hall. Take your fingers and sort of smudge it and make it a little bit misty because we don't want it to be the star of the show, like I like to say. All right. Then we're going to put a bit of bright blue. You know, there was a sky. They charmed the ceiling. So you could see the sky all the way down. Take your fingers. If it mixes with the rusty color, that's just fine. Now, we're going to just divide up the window parts. Now, if you want to color in with some stained glass later on, you can do that. <clears throat> I'm going to just put some little bit of blue in, not much, so the black will show through. 
All right, let's get these tables fixed. We've got them outlined in black. They don't have their tablecloths on yet. So let's just turn our pastel sideways. Get that part in. And the stage up here where Dumbledore and the teachers sit. You see, I'm doing it lightly. I have not filled in every square inch. If you have some parts that aren't colored, that's okay. And let's get in a little bit of the floor. Lightly, lightly. Use your fingers. Now we're about to do the most interesting part of this, this whole pastel. We're going to make some candles floating. We're going to fix little straight lines. Now don't go nuts and make it look like a snowstorm. We don't need that many. You can put some in front of the windows and even some out here, but not too many. All right. Now at the end of each little candle, <clears throat> you're going to have to put an orange light, a flame, just a little circle. Make it look like that. Just an O at the end. Now I'm doing mine quickly, but you can take your time and add the, the candlelight as you want to do it. And go back and put a little bit of red there in the middle. That makes it really, really look like a candle. I forgot these in the middle. And our feast is just about ready. Now you can add as many candles as you like. I was not real crazy about making it look too much like snowflakes. We can put in the Christmas tree over here on the side. Turn your pastel to the side and you can make an almost perfect pyramid shape without messing up your candles. Work around them. Don't be excited if you get over on the candle part. You can take your finger and work it in. And it is Christmas time at Hogwarts. So, we could even put a wreath on the window. With a red bow. And how about some decorations on the tree? You can make it look like strings of red. And how about some blue lights? I think it's really beginning to look like Christmas at Hogwarts. Let's see, how about a few little orange ones 
to match the candlelight. I think this looks wonderful. And I know you have done a great job on this Christmas feast at Hogwarts. Be sure you take a pastel and sign your name here in the right hand corner. And then flip your painting over and name your painting. You can say Harry's Great Hall at Hogwarts or Hogwarts at Christmas and today's date. And then go and show this to your family and your friends and they'll know exactly what it is once they see the floating candles. So you have done a great job and I'm so glad you joined me today. And always, always remember, you are an artist.